today I want to look at lead acid batteries again and in particular the lead acid battery in my wife's car uh, and I bought this to uh, to test it because this is a top don RT battery 101 battery test cranking test charging tester unit thing and it's the cheapest one that I could find on eBay this uh, didn't cost too much at all about 20 two pounds i think so what 25 dollars and if it does the job well that'll be money well spent but as soon as it arrived i noticed a slight oddity here uh, it claims on the front a 2.4 something tft b and w screen well b and w uh black and white obviously 2.4 well i'm guessing that's 2.4 inches diagonally across that screen but tft no nah, i'm not sure about that anyway let's get it out of its clamshell and uh hopefully that's not too difficult no it's just one that sort of uh sticks together rather than one that is soldered and glued and all those other sorts of things that make it too difficult to get out but there it is now the unit itself is powered directly by the 12 volt lead acid battery and uh, yeah it's it's quite well well it's quite thin it's quite portable it's about hand sized it looks ergonomically not too bad topdon.com apparently uh, not that that's where i saw this being advertised it was an ebay purchase um and the crocodile clips well they've got an extra bit in there and the look well reasonable i guess and uh, when we look down the end there can we see that there are two wires actually a black one uh, which you assume is the negative for the current and there's also a green one down there as well so perhaps this is doing separate voltage uh, measurements and uh, using another cable for the current so uh, yeah two wires to uh, yeah both uh, crocodile clips there this one's got a red which goes up the handle and presumably crimps on somewhere up here now that's not going to come off easily and then the yellow one as well so yeah they must be doing separate voltage uh readings to make sure it's accurate so well that's a good start four buttons on the front up down okay and backwards and uh, that's about it but oh no actually there is a mini USB port on the bottom. Um, that wasn't mentioned in the listing, so I'm not entirely sure what that's about. That's probably, perhaps, just to program it rather than getting the information off it. But, you know, we'll see. So here we are under the bonnet or the hood of my wife's car. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, the battery in question. And uh, this car is, well, a little over 10 years old and it's got a Nissan labelled battery in here so I think this is probably the original uh, whether it's got a date on it no just a model and now I've got a dirty finger but anyway here we are so there's the positive so we'll attach the positive as best we can to the positive terminal where is it going to sit best with a good contact Perhaps, no, not so great. Let's, this uh, uh, cable clip doesn't go terribly wide and therefore that's probably best there. And uh, on the negative side, there we go. That was much more sensible. Oh look, we get a brand and uh, it says 12.56 volts there. Let's remove the screen, 12.5 six volts so uh it seems like it's reasonably well charged this car's been sitting here for what a day or two since it was last used and uh let's press the enter button no down there we go display set display ah display rated don't know what that means let's press no that does the same thing let's press the okay then english yes please uh no the select the test out of vehicle well clearly it is in a vehicle so we'll choose in vehicle select charge before charge or after charge well uh, it's before charge it's been sat here resting for a couple of days it's a regular flooded lead acid battery it can be an efb a gel an agm spiral 
AGM flat plate, oh there's quite a few different options but it's regular flooded. And I want to test the cranking amps, the uh, cold cranking amps here which is uh, what we usually use in the UK for uh, the specification of a battery but I can't see a label on here that says, it says it's a 47 amp hour battery, oh no 420A, I'm guessing that's 420 cranking amps so we'll reduce that down it drops down in increments or decrements of 5 amps so 420 let's click OK and we're doing a test apparently and after a few seconds there we've got a uh, state of charge 93% it says state of health 81% 12.56 volts 410 amps it thinks and uh, internal resistance it's got there as well uh, 7.92 milliohms and it says it's a good battery which is uh, superb but I disagree um, let's have a look so for press we can now do a cranking test so uh, it says start the engine I'll need to put that just there And uh, the results of the cranking test are in. So uh, the cranking is normal. The battery dropped presumably to 9.88 volts and it took, well, just under two seconds, 1836 milliseconds to actually start. Well, yeah, I'm still not convinced by this battery because, uh, well, you heard the slow crank and it didn't sound like quite like I remember this should. So, uh, yeah, but this seems to think it's normal. Uh, a charging test, so I've clicked OK, we can now do a charging test, so as it's in the vehicle we'll click OK, loaded testing, um, don't know what that means, increase the revs, oh that means I've got to press the accelerator, let's pop that down there, oh it detected an increase in the revs, didn't do much though did I? So it says it's charging normally, uh, loaded 14.44 volts and no loads 14.62 volts and the ripple is normal, which is all excellent, apart from the fact that I'm not convinced that this battery's as good as it thinks. As it so happens, I do have another battery because I knew I was going to be replacing this, so let's put the new battery in and then do all the tests again. Right, so the new battery's in and my hands are filthy, but uh, you know, that comes with the territory, doesn't it? Uh, let's try and get fixed onto there again and onto there. So 12.66 volts, um, can we see that from the factory? No, not quite, 12.66 volts mentioned on the screen. Click OK, English, in vehicle, before charge, regular flooded, CCA, well it's a uh, 420 again, so that's fine, and it should be testing. Right, we'll just take a look at these results, and uh, hopefully they'll show up here on the screen. 100% uh, state of health, state of charge 98%. 12.66 volts, 515 amps apparently, and rated at 420. So uh, yes, that's a good battery because it's supplying more than it should. Let's uh, go on to the next test and start the cranking test. Now this is the one I'm interested in. Will it sound better? Now I think you'll agree that definitely sounded a lot better and it was half of the time, 908 milliseconds to start that car and it dropped to 9.9 .9 volts. So uh, yeah, that's certainly better than before, isn't it?
and uh, should we do a charging test um, yeah I've got to raise the uh, RPM haven't I let's go do that And there we have it, charging normal, loaded 14.36 and no load 14.58, normal ripple. So apparently this uh, battery is, well, better than the old one, even though the old one was apparently fine. Right, back in the shed now, but I've still got mucky fingers, you'll just have to excuse me. So uh, what was the top Don doing? Well in those tests initially when it was just connected to the battery and the engine wasn't on, well it seemed to be doing some sort of load test. So in here I'm guessing there is some sort of MOSFET and some resistive load that it uses to uh, test the voltage. Should we have a look inside and find out? It is just four standard screws and one final screw here there we go so we'll move those to one side and inside there we have it so yeah there are four wires at the top uh, positive on the left negative on the right and presumably the voltage sensing wires are green for positive yeah it was green in there wasn't it i think and yellow for negative was that right yes yellow for Oh no, yellow for positive, so uh, they seem to be crossed over. But we've obviously got the microcontroller here in the middle. A 78M05, is that a 5 volt regulator down here on the left? Uh, diodes here for input protection on the main red and black, so uh, you can't reverse polarity this, that's good. And down here, these are clearly the load resistors, and they're orange, black, gold so orange is three isn't it black meaning zero and then gold is gold one percent i think it is isn't it so uh these are 30 ohm resistors and uh are they in parallel or are they in series let's see if i can probe that uh, measuring in circuit may be tricky but we will try 20 ohms across that top one so is orange two i'm, I'm sure orange is three uh 20 ohms across the bottom one so i'm guessing they are in parallel so it's probably meant to be more like 15 ohms but at that sort of level my vicky meter will probably struggle so much what we expected inside just a voltmeter really with a uh, current circuit in there and of course the uh, tft screen which uh, clearly really is lcd so i've tested the top don with a 10 year old battery in the car which uh, when it was cranking certainly didn't give you any confidence it was going to start the car but the top don said no don't you worry, Adam, it's a good battery. And then I've tested it with a brand new battery and the top Don said, well, it's a good battery. So what do I make of this? Well, you know, essentially it's a voltmeter and it has got that small load in there, but it is probably pulling less than an amp when it's testing. So that's not really much of a test for a battery that's meant to uh, start a car is it uh, i'm quite pleased that it's a four wire uh, measurement and uh, testing circuit that's uh, a positive but to be honest uh, yeah perhaps i cheaped out a bit far this time because it hasn't really helped me diagnose that battery I has it because it said it's good when i'm fairly sure it's not Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.